So sitting tall, I'm just going to put the soles of the feet together and you're going to drop the knees to the side. Just rest in the arms on the inner, inner parts of the knees and just gently press sitting tall through the body. Just stretching the inner thighs, opening out the hip flexors. So tall through the body. Keep breathing. And release, bring the knees together. Take them back out. And just so tall through the body, grow through the spine. Bring the knees in, release, take it back out again, last time. Okay. Just last stretch. Okay, we're going to take the feet out long, sitting tall through the body. So we're going to take the left foot out to the left, bring it back. The right foot out to the right, bring it back. Try and stay tall through the body. So when you're doing this, try not, as you go back, to take the body back. The body should try and stay straight. So if you find yourself tipping back as you do it, don't take the foot out so far. So if you're trying to take it out a long way and you're tipping back, then just don't take it out just quite so far and you'll find you should be able to stay more upright. Keep it going. Okay. This time we're going to take the left leg to the left, the right leg to join it. Then we're going to take it all the way across and that one all the way across. Again, keep the body upright. So the arms are just there for support. There shouldn't be too much weight going through them. Core should be engaged, so belly button pulled in towards the spine. Shoulders relaxed. Breathe in. Okay, last one. Okay, bring it back to centre. So make sure you're sitting tall. We're going to lift the right leg and hold. Flex the feet and release down. Same leg, lift and hold. And release. Lift and hold. And release. Lift and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change sides. Lift and hold. And release. Lift and hold. Keep breathing and release. Lift and hold. And release. Last one, we're going to lift and pulse for 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Brilliant, okay. Left leg comes in, right leg goes round to the side. Now make sure it is on its side. You do want to be lifting up with the side of the foot. This hand comes down to the side. You want to try and keep the body as upright as possible, but if you can't get any movement out of the hip from that, 
just take the body more at an angle and you'll find you'll be able to lift so find the position that's that's doable but not overly easy so don't come all the way down and make it really easy so it wants to be you want to be able to feel the stretch but you want it so that you can actually get movement out of it so tall through the body shoulders relaxed and we're going to lift and drop and lift and drop and lift and drop shoulders stay relaxed core's engaged Make sure you're coming up using the side of the leg. Make sure you're leading with the edge of the foot. Okay, and the last one, we're going to lift and hold. Keep breathing, pulse for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten change size we're going to do that on the other side see although i can't hear you i'm sure you're all telepathically grumbling at me okay so same on this side make sure you're nice in line with the body side of the leg pick your angle try and get as upright as you can hopefully i'm not disturbing my mic and we're going to lift and drop and lift and drop 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 lift and hold keep breathing Pulse for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant. Give them a rub if you need to. Then bring them back to the side. Swipe side back to centre. Sitting tall. Knee drops into the centre. Tall through the body. All through the spine, lots of breathing. Okay, a bit of magic for you. I don't know if this is going to work. So, there's four sums you've got to do. And then I'm going to ask you to think of a number. So, five add three. If you can all shout out what it is. I know I can't hear you. Okay, nine plus twelve. Sorry, 9 plus 2, even. I can't even read what I've put. 10 minus 6. And the last one doesn't make sense. Give me sense. a number between oh, 5 and 12. Oh, and give me a number between 5 and 12. And hopefully, you've all shouted out 7. Ah, I know, I can see, I can see a couple of you have. Because you can see your surprise on your face that I managed to guess it. <laughs> oh, that's good. So that's obviously kind of worked. Okay, you can all tell me later when I un unmute you. Drop the legs to the left. Centre and right. Centre and left. Centre and right. See, this is why I should always stick to the script. Last one each side. Okay, so now, as Paul will be really pleased to know, we did so much balance at the beginning, there's no balance at the end. We're just going to finish with a stretch. <laughs> We're getting a round of applause. That's good. Okay, so either come down to the hand or to the arm, and we're going to reach across. So try and make sure your body's in line, so your arm, shoulder, hip and ankle should all pretty much be in line. 
Then you're going to come up and gently hold somewhere between the ankle and the knee on the other leg and reach across the other way. Now this is a tighter stretch, so don't force it. Core should still be engaged, but shoulders should still be relaxed. Just breathe into the stretch. Come back down. Last time on this side. Take the legs round. Gently hold between the ankle and the knee on this side. Last one in each direction. So just put the soles of the feet together, tall through the body, pull those feet in towards you, relax the shoulders, and we're just going to take three deep breaths in and out in your own time. Really relaxing the shoulders, allowing the tension to release. Really fill the lungs with air as you breathe in. And that's it. Thank you very much for joining me again tonight.